Welcome to Savage Kitchen. We're doing a tasting today, and you know I love these tasting episodes. Uh, today, we are going to be tasting something called bison grass vodka. I'm pretty excited about this. This is a spirit that is completely new to me. It was actually recommended by one of the super helpful people at my local uh, Total Wine, which by the way, I feel like the people who work there are always highly informed and super in to uh, the booze that they're slinging and I really appreciate it. So, um, so this gentleman recommended this particular bottle to me and it came with the recommendation that he thought this was one of the most interesting bottles in the whole store. So I mean, that's pretty serious to me. So bought the bottle and I've been doing a little bit of research. Turns out that uh, bison grass vodka is a spirit that is originally produced in Poland. It is a vodka that is distilled from rye and then it is flavored with this bison grass. Now bison grass is, bison grass is a sweet grass that grows in a couple of regions around the world, but in particular in Poland, uh, this is a long flat lying grass. So it's not like a grass that like sticks straight up. It's sort of, to look at pictures of it, it's almost like it lays down. It's kind of like woven. Um, and supposedly it has a sweetness to it, like a little bit of vanilla. It's a mellow sweetness. So this, they, this, particular way of distilling vodka has been around for about 600 years. And what's interesting to me is vodka in general, you know, vodka is flavorless. Typically it's, you know, unless you buy the nonsense infused vodkas, not that they're nonsense, but I don't know. I think they're kind of nonsense. Uh, vodka is a neutral spirit. It is also the, the base of everything. You know, you don't get to whiskey until you first start with what is essentially vodka. And then the aging process, uh, is what changes that into uh, a different spirit. So anyway, I digress, uh, for with this bison grass vodka, this isn't that this isn't about an aging process. And I've read a couple of conflicting things about how this is produced. In one thing I read, it says that the, um, bison grass is harvested between, I think it was like May and September of every year. And then the bison grass is laid out, dried, and then washed over with ethanol until an essence is produced from it's, there's an essence extracted from the bison grass by the ethanol, pure alcohol being washed over it. And then that essence is combined with the rye distillate. And then we have bison grass vodka. However, I read another account of how this is produced saying that the bison grass is harvested and then dried and put in bundles. And the vodka is then poured through the bundles of bison grass. And that imparts the flavor of the bison grass in the vodka. Either way, it's super interesting. I'm actually really curious to learn more about it. So if any of you out there watching know or have any insight, insight or inside knowledge, I would love to hear it. I'm super nerdy about this stuff. I find it fascinating. Um, another fun detail is each of the bottles comes with a blade of bison grass. I don't know if you can see this. It's kind of floating around in there. Kind of fun. Um, interesting bit of history about bison grass vodka in the U S up until relatively recently, or I gotta look, I want to say it was 2013. I forget the year exactly. I'll put it in the notes below. Um, this was banned for import into the U S because bison grass has a naturally occurring compound in it called a uh, curmin, curmin, not curcumin, curmin that acts as a blood thinner. And for whatever reason, the FDA decided that the potential toxicity of that compound means that we couldn't import bison grass vodka. Similar to how the FDA also had decided at one time that a compound that exists in absinthe naturally couldn't be imported into the U.S. And so then distillers had to find out a way to make it without that compound. Well, same goes here. And so distillers had to find a way to make the bison grass without that particular uh, curmin. I'll look up how to say that <laughs> compound. 
And what's kind of silly about that is that is a naturally occurring compound. It is also in strawberries. It is also in cherries. So I can't imagine that the concentration of it in this is so high that you would just keel over and die. I mean, I don't know. What a way to go, right? So anyway, I am super curious to give this a try. This, um, this brand is called Box. They're, the US FDA labeled bison grass Zubrovka, which is interesting because Zubrovka actually is a Polish brand and the people in our government decided, no, 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 that's just a category of spirit when actually, no, it was just a brand. So now all bison grass vodka, at least in the US, I don't know what it's like in Poland, is labeled Zubrovka, <laughs> like my Polish pronunciation. Uh, so just a little bit of trivia. All right, let's give this a smell. Ooh, <laughs> it's vodka. <laughs> um, yeah, I, you definitely get the ethanol off the top. Oh, but it does have, it doesn't smell purely like vodka. And I'm looking down at my vodka bottles right now. It's got some spice in there. Definitely hints of vanilla. Mm. And like, I, I don't know if it's the suggestion of the word grass, but it also does kind of smell like fresh cut grass. Huh. It does smell very fresh. Fresh and vanilla. All right, let's, let's see. And so it has this interesting light green hue. It's very pretty. Sort of like a peridot. Oh, again. Oh, stings the nostrils. <laughs> that, um, that initial whiff is formidable. Um, let's see here. I want to, I want to let it like some of the alcohol to evaporate off the top there. Also, I'm torturing myself per usual trying this at room temperature. I am absolutely positive that were you to chill this, keep it in the freezer, like you should always keep your vodka. Um, it's, probably better, but for tasting purposes, we're going at room temperature. All right, let's give it a taste. Mmm. Wow. That's not what I expected. I'm not really sure what I expected. I think maybe I was thinking it would be like a citrusy vanilla flavor and it's not. It's a bit floral. It's definitely vanilla. It has some sweetness. D don't get me wrong. It is vodka. It burns <laughs> right now, uh, but it burns so good. Ooh. That's really, really interesting. Right away, I'm thinking about pairing this with um, liqueur 43 to also enhance those vanilla flavors and introduce a little bit of citrus to it. Like I can see making a creamsicle cocktail with this. Ooh, really, really interesting. Wow. Uh, some of the things I read uses for this seems that the most popular uh, way to consume this is combined with apple juice. And I can see how the acidity um, and sweetness of apple juice would pair very, very nicely with this. It's really, yeah, I think <sighs> I spent many years of my life with one of my best friends going and playing pool at a dive bar and we would just drink uh, Tito's on ice with lime way too often. <laughs> And this would not be that. I think lime juice would kill this, actually. Um, if any citrus were to be added, I would say orange only. I think lemon, too, would be too astringent. Really interesting. I think it would be interesting to make, um, to make a margarita with this, too. Which, I get it. Margaritas are tequila. But there's something about this that reminds me a little bit of a, um, a very light reposado tequila. Mm. I think I'm going to try and make my coconut margarita with this. Interesting. 
I wonder if there's a word for a Polish margarita. I think we're going to come up with something new. All right. I like it. I want to learn more about it. So I'm very curious if anybody out there has heard of or tried bison grass vodka, let me know in the comments. Um, I, this was the only bottle, the only brand that was available at my liquor store. And it looks like there are a few. So I'm curious uh, to hear about the other ones as well. So thanks for joining. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already. Hit that notification bell so you can come and hang out with me whenever we have new episodes. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, friends.